So as we've been working on the front here and it does, now it's all drying out, it looks absolutely amazing. Terry and Tracy have just done an absolutely phenomenal job. Um, we're so happy with it. But lots of you have been asking about where our little door goes to. Now you might have remembered earlier, I think it was late last year, we got this door sorted because it used to just flap about in the wind and they've done an absolutely beautiful job of restoring it. So we're going to take you in because there's loads of different things down here, there's loads of different times, eras that, that pertain to the, the actual chateau itself. So it's going to be like going backwards in time. We're going to step into the first bit. Now the tower was built 1806, which is the newest part of the chateau. So we'll try and explain it as we go through and you'll, hopefully you'll get a better understanding of, of what this is and how it was built. So we step down and this is the 1806. So the tower we know was built 1806 and They've obviously had stairways to go up and down. Now, as we go through this, you'll see that there's no other stairway that's visible really um, to take us up and down into the main chateau. So we'll try and discover, we'll try and suss out where it, where it was ourselves, because we, we genuinely don't know. Maybe you have a better idea of it than we do. But you, you'll understand the different like, eras of the chateau. You'll see the different building techniques and you'll see the way that it's decorated was different as well. So down here, we've got all the beautiful panelling. Now, the panelling is pretty much the same as what we had upstairs as well. So this would have been a, a servant's area and they've still panelled it all out and made it look really nice for them. Um, the stairs we will restore and again that's a big job in time so I know a lot of you are going to ask that. But these, if you, if you were to go up these, this takes you out into right next to the front door. There's a little door under the stairs um, and it takes you out into there. And as you look around, everything's been, like I say, panelled the way it was. We've got lots of little interesting things this still has something in um, I think it's a little old medicine bottle can't even see a date on it but it's old old and goodness knows what little old lock catches which again just old steel ones but everything again has been done with so much detail and so much care as they've gone through and as we walk down like I say we go backwards in time in terms of where everything's situated down here as we keep going we come to the original front doors of the chateau. So this would have been the old entrance because this wasn't here, everything here wasn't here. This was the back of the chateau. So these would have probably been the back doors to be honest with you. But you can see the way that everything's built. It's built with the same stone, it's built with the same techniques. You've got the floors, you can see that the floors are a bit newer. And as again, as we go in, we'll show you the floors and the differences between it all. So as you can see with the, even the roofs, the floors, it's it's different to everything else. And like I said, that's how we know all of this, even without getting the dates and the timeline of the chateau. We know all of this is different just by looking at the different techniques. We've got steels. So steels, I don't know whether this would have been early 1800s. It's, it looks quite rusty, but it's, it's still like it got in there at that time. Above us here is the tiled floor to the um, turret itself. Now again, we know that that went down in the 1800s. So all this must have been done around that sort of time and it is still in really good condition. Um, right now, it is a, it's a bit of a dumping ground. We do use this quite a lot. It's a great storage area. And in summer, it is so cool in here. It can be 25, 30 degrees outside. You walk in here, it's no more than 10 degrees. So it's the ideal place where they would have had the kitchen, where they would have been able to store stuff down here, to store their wine, store their drinks, their meats, because it is, it is like a fridge down here. It's been done so well. And as we go down, we are literally about eight to 10 foot underneath the ground. So it's got that sort of, um, refrigerator properties if you like um, so look at the stonework the stonework itself it's exactly the same this is exactly the same as the old outer building so you can see this would have been the old facade and you can even see here it was it was being all covered over and yes we've got the electrics the electrics are a work in progress they are all safe um, but we've got to do it floor by floor we are changing everything here in terms of the electrics everything will be ripped out that was old in here and we'll be replacing it with new so that'll be a work in progress you'll see it'll all get covered up and all get sorted but i absolutely love these doors and again this would have been the old back entrance so this would have been the servant's entrance into the chateau itself possibly and again these are this well, we've only got one but this is the original original back door that would have been on here um, and they've left it on for what reason we don't know whether it's just posterity to keep it but we're going to go down now and 
as we're leaving the, the, that area, we're going into the part of the chateau that was built, we believe in 1755. So we've got two sides as we're down here. The other side takes us to the 15th century old manor house kitchen and we'll go through that and we'll show you in a second but even in this little area you can see it, it's very different built to even just this bit here and there's only 60 years difference between it you look at the vaulted ceilings which are all um, brick um, and it isn't like that next door it's a completely different type of brick and it's a completely different type of, of stone that's being used the floors that are down the floors are massive massive pieces of granite um, and again, just you can imagine the work that's gone in to do something like this. It is, it's mind-boggling. We know just lifting a couple of pieces how heavy these pieces of stone are, and we do it with like we've been able to use the tractor and, and and pull things around and that. They must have had it so hard, and they did the amount of people that must have been involved in this actual construction project. You can just imagine it as a hive of activity. What nearly 250 years ago, um, we've got different things down here as well that we don't really know much about so this is the the boiler which we will reinstate in time it's literally had two hours of runtime in its entire life so it's something that we we want to get working again but we've got different different things so we've got the old old vintage out of here and um, again it's all been blocked up now we're not 100 percent sure where it goes we've got this semicircle in the roof and terry thinks that this would have been an old entrance um, up from here, up into the this where we're under right now, will be pretty much on the edge of the billiard um, or the the hallway. It's somewhere between that. We're not 100% sure exactly where straight up goes, but it makes sense that if the, the, there was a set of stairs, I, I've always said that there must have been a set of stairs in the this is pretty much the centre of the building. We look at this side. This would have been the old front. And I, I, the way I see it and the way I envisage it, when it was originally built, it had that beautiful big porch on the front and you'd have walked up the stairs, you'd have walked into what we now call the billiard room. But I think that there'd have been a set of stairs up there and it makes sense if there was a set of stairs down to here as well from there. So we'll have to, we'll have to do some more investigating and that, see where we go. Now the set of stairs aren't the only weird sort of feature in here as well. We've got, you can also see like clear indication of the old heating vent. So where in the hallway, where we've got the grills on the floor, and um, they would have fed down into here, they would have had fires in here. And again, whether they used the big old fire that we're gonna show you in a minute, whether they had another source of heating down here, we, we don't know the answer to that. And it's something that I suppose we'll put together over time as we, we make our way down here. We don't, or haven't spent a lot of time down here. It is mainly for storage that we've used it and we use it as a utility room. But we've not really done much investigating. We've got on the back walls there as well, again, they look pretty much original to what they were. You've even got on the windows exactly the same clasps, they're exactly the same cremones as what we're using upstairs, uh, what we used upstairs. And again, for what reason this would have been, why this would have been here like this, we don't know, it's another room in behind this. There is a little toilet in there as well, which again, I'm guessing would have been like a servant's toilet so they didn't have to, to go outside all the time. But my honest belief in this one is that there was a set of stairs down here as well. As you go out all back doors, the stairs go down and there's a recess under there and the actual facade of the wall is different to all the other windows. So I think that at some point there's been a set of stairs coming down that way as well. So I think there would have been the two entrances and this would have been like the main lobby sort of thing. We go through into the other side. So as you're looking at the chateau from the front, this would be the left side. <coughs> And again, even in here, this is a lot newer. It's a lot different to the other side that we're gonna show you. Um, it's well done, it's vaulted, it's been made to look like the other side, but it's just different. The floors are different. They haven't got the, the stone floors that they have next door. They haven't, there's drainage and guttering next door. So I think as this has been down here, I think this has been more of a storage room, like, like a refrigerator. You've got here the set of doors in. Now, I, I've always said this is a delivery entrance. As you go out of here and look straight, it's a straight line straight down the drive. So if you've had horses and carriages pulling up with vats of things and, and barrels and bags, this would have been the easiest way to get down. There isn't a set of stairs there, so it says to me that it hasn't been used as an entrance. It's literally just been used as a drop-off point for goods to drop them into the cellar. Um, and then the, the workers here would have put them where they needed to go. But it's just, it is such a beautiful space down here. You can just see the, how beautifully the roofs have been done and the condition that they're in is absolutely superb. They did, we did have problems with mold and stuff in here when we got here, but we tried all this. It was one of the first jobs that we did to make sure that the storm was preserved and, and wasn't gonna get 
deteriorated because again when we got here it was really was open to the elements a lot of it's been covered up and what you'll also see in, in pretty much every French um, chateau or every French building to be honest with you we've got little slits in the wall and um, there is a presence of radon gas in the area so the reason for the slit in the wall is to allow that to escape it means that no one's going to be poisoned down here and and they knew that as far back as the 1700s because like I say all of this probably probably longer than that but we know that they've done this way back then because this was built 1755 and this is original to the chateau itself but we've got no no stone floors in here we've dug down and we don't have the, the the big stone it looks like it's been concreted over at some point but the, the big beautiful stones that we have elsewhere we just don't see we also have our sign so this is our Le Chateau sign um, and this was from we believe the 1980s, it was only open in, in 1986 for a period, it was a Chambre de Haut, it was only open for about six months. We think it was a restaurant here for two, three years in that time, as we've spoken to different people, they've given us sort of different times. Um, but they had a little restaurant basically, in where we call the Grand Salon now, and, and the dining room, they used that as a little restaurant, and people used to come here, I've met people in the village that used to come here for dinner. Um, I actually literally met a lady yesterday that said she came here for dinner in the 80s, as she used to come here with her family. So again, just a little bit more of the Chateau's history and the, and the, the different people that have lived here over time. Um, and even, it's even got the big meat hook still sticking out the ceiling. So again, we know this has been used for storage from that point of view. And we'll go through with the other side because that's the really fascinating side for me. It's the oldest part of the Chateau itself. So something I've just noticed for completely the first time down here. Now, we've always said this is a store, storage room. This makes sense now seeing this massive door now this again when it was in its prime this is a solid what looks like oak door it's thick as anything but look at the size of the lock on it it's obviously been done like that so it, it, they've obviously kept their valuables in here their their meat their food their, their drink down here and it's had a big lock on it so someone would have been custodian of this and would have been able to come in and out and make sure that this was all completely secure so they would have had it done in a way that was like say locked up kept nice and and somebody would have been in charge of this would have been that would have been someone's job just to be the key holder it'd be a full-time job just with the size of the keys because you look at the keyhole and there was another keyhole there as well but this is a completely original door. So this will probably date back to the 1700s at some point. And again, it isn't in bad condition until you look at the, the, the back bit there where it's been a little bit eaten, but the actual door itself is absolutely solid. But again, just beautiful. And here we are, this is the oldest part of the chateau. We've got details or we've had details through of a, a, a manor house or a big house that stood here in the 1300s but the earliest as far back as we can go is the mid I think we've seen is the mid 1400s and this was the big manor house of La La Salle, um, at the time but this room is so different to all the others and, and the feel of it is different the construction of it is different and you can see all the original original features that were here so I think a few times I've said on video now that I believe that the, the land around the chateau has been built up. I don't believe this was a cellar um, of the old manor house. I think this was the kitchen. And I do believe that this stood at ground level when the, the chateau was built. The reason I say that is we know that there was a bread oven in there. Um, we know that that held the bread oven for them to be able to cook their bread. And that wouldn't have been underground. It would have been um, at ground level. They wouldn't have placed that under, under the actual surface. They'd have nowhere to access it, feed it, sort it and maintain it. So that, that's part of the reasoning for me thinking that, that, that that's why this was here. We know this was the old kitchen. Um, we've got all the original stonework in the original stone sinks. Um, there's a stone drainage system that takes it out of the chateau. We're not exactly sure where that water goes, but it disappears and it doesn't back up or anything. Um, our feeling is that it does somehow feeds underground down to the, to the little lake. We don't really use this for anything right now other than to do our laundry because it's the best place to do it and it, it keeps it fresh down here. But again, just the, the old, old building techniques. So this is the, the old fireplace and, and, and like I said, I think it was bread oven at some point. And you can see that there's a clear difference in the wall. It's been covered in now and we don't know again when that was done, but you can clearly see that there's old catches on the wall the same as what there is in the in the what we call the function room itself and we know that that was a secondary bread oven afterwards then buildings at the sides of the cottage and the function room were built in 1803 
So it kind of times in for when they would have got rid of this or when they wouldn't have had a need for it um, to actually build into the other buildings and put the bread oven over there. And as they build the land up, um, that kind of makes sense to me. But even the stone, it's different. It's not quite the same. It's not quite as thick. It's, it's, it's a different type of granite. So we know 100% that this is being done completely at a separate time. We believe that this, this in the corner uh, well, I believe that it's it's fed from the well at the top of our land because where we sit, we actually sit slightly lower than that. So the water table would actually flow down to this area. So whether it's all being connected up, this has obviously been built a lot later. We're not exactly sure of the times, but it's a solid concrete um, block. We have had a look in to try and see, and it does look like there is some water in there, but we're not 100% sure whether it's fresh water being fed from that, whether it's being fed from septics from around, whether it used to be empty. We're not 100% on that. So again, any thoughts on this as, as to why this would have been built, when it would have been built? If you guys have any ideas, let us know. My favourite thing though is the drains in the floor, the original drains that they would have had. Um, so again, it makes sense if, it, if, if there was something here to do with water, there's a drain that would have fed out into the actual back of the chateau and into the drainage system itself. And again, we know that this was put in in the 1500s. This is an old, old system. Um, but it's just one of the most beautiful little spaces. And like I say, we will use this. And where we were is going to be our kitchen. So I've just discovered something completely new that I've never seen before. I've probably been down here a hundred times and never noticed this. So this is what we think is the old uh, well. But right next to it, we have um, what looks like, I'd probably say it's an area either for slaughtering animals or for butchering animals. And again, it's all um, got a drainage channel built into it and it follows the drainage channel right the way through to the, the cellar itself. So I, I do think that this area would have been some sort of like butchering area for the animals. Um, again, it just makes sense that you've got this here um, and, and like I say, the channels to do it. So as gruesome as it is, it's, it looks like that's where it would have been. So as we're doing this, Terry's just pointed something out to me that I've never even noticed before. And it's this hole here, but it's done with granite. Um, I really, we discussed them there because I like I say, I've never seen it before so I'm trying to get my head around where it would have been and I'm trying to think would it have been a chimney but then that wouldn't make sense like Terry's just said being in the middle of the floor here and then the other parts of the manor house would have been above this um, and why would they have had that hose, it drop something down, is it to, to feed something, I, I, I genuinely don't know, I'm at a loss trying to suss out what it is but it has been done with all the original granite. And as you look around in here, you'll see that this is, of all the, the cellar that we've seen, this is the only one that's fully been fully rendered right the way around. And again, it's obviously been done at a much later date because you can see all the old, old parts of the building um, and, and why they've done that. I still think that there was a stairway in this corner and I think we'll dig it out at some point. We'll have a look um, to try and, and get some understanding of it. But here is where there's a little building at the side of the dining room. This come down straight into this and I think I personally think that there would have been a stairway here and I think if we chip some of the, the, the plaster off at some point which Terry's never going to let me do we'd find a, a newer bricked up wall there I think the easiest way we can do that is to go into that building try and empty out as much of the, the, the debris that's in there and try and get some answers that way see if, we can see if it comes down this way from the other side because I, I definitely think that that was the stairway and again if, if this was the original original kitchen from the manor house to the the, the area upstairs then they would have they would have took food up there and um, because there's no other real place other than the circled cut out area that I can see that there would have been a stairway. I can't imagine them leaving the actual building itself to take food outside to take it upstairs. That that just doesn't make any sense to me. Again we've got all the original meat hooks in here. So again we know we know it's been a, a used building and it, it's been well used over the years. But it's just it's so different. One of my other favourite features is the original, original, um, I don't think it's a sink, I think it's a, probably a butcher's block at some point to actually prepare meats and stuff on. It's got a drain on the back of it that would have took it down into the old sewer system that was here. Um, I, I think it's been used for that, for, for carving up meat, for just to take all the blood away and so that it doesn't go everywhere. But again, what the, the drain for is in the floor, I suppose if they've been hanging animals in here, whether it all collects there and gathers down the middle. Again, I really don't know. And then there's one little last area that we've got down here, which again, it's nice, it's quaint. So, 
we're back into the, the 1755 building. And again, totally different, completely brick lined at the top. But I think here, there would have been another set of stairs that came down into this. There is an old toilet here as well, which looks, it's not new, um, but it would make sense that there was a toilet here for the, for the servants and stuff to use and for the people that work down here to actually, to be able to go somewhere. And then this would have been an entrance into the actual building itself. You've got an entrance to the left. So it's, it's, it is different. It's a, it's, if you can put any of this together or you give any of ideas as to how you think this was used, it'd be a, it'd be interesting. Cause like I said, we've not spent enough time down here to be able to, to suss it all out and to understand exactly what all of it is. So yeah, it is a bit of a, a quandary as to, to what this part of a build, the building was and what it was used for. Like I say, I personally think it's been used as an entrance because all the other walls, the slope there, this looks like it's been covered up fairly recently. I say fairly recently within the last 150 years compared to the, the ages of the rest of the building. We've got, you'll see the old exhaust ducts that went out for the old, old system. So whether they had fires in the middle and fed up through the chateau for that, for the heating system, that would make sense. We've got another chimney here that leads literally straight onto the um straight underneath where the back door well, where the front doors would have been again might be why they've switched it around why they've switched the front to the back but in here see there's new things even i'm just learning things today and seeing things we've got an old mosaic floor and again so this this was a toilet and like i said i think this has been this has been a lot later added in but it's still been done nicely it's still being thought about it's not somewhere that they've just dumped and it's a it's a little I say crappy area it's an area for the crap but it's it's not somewhere that's just an afterthought in the building it's been done nicely um, and that's the one thing that we know about here is the servants were always very well looked after it is well documented that they enjoyed their time here and, and and we know people that have worked here through the years families that have worked here and they always speak about it in such a positive manner so it's, it's nice to find that and a nice bit of history we have took the toilet out of there we will try and reuse it somewhere again it's just around here <coughs> Yeah, I, I definitely think I definitely think that this was a, an entrance into the building. I think that the, the would have came down here. There would have been a set of stairs underneath there that have gone through. Um, it just again, it just makes it makes sense to me as to this is the front of the building. It would have been an entrance down. Yeah, the back doors literally straightforward from where I am. And yeah, so I hope this has made some sense to you. So. This is something I always really find funny in, the, in in French houses is they must have been really short compared to what we are now. Like I'm only 5'11 and this is, look at that, it's like literally right at my head. Any taller and I would hit my head off the, the, the ceiling there. So again, we know that that's old, old um, because all the older doorways are a lot, lot smaller. Any of the new ones that have been put in, they're a lot, lot bigger. They're a lot higher. So again, I would say that that's completely original. That one's completely original, but later on, this room, we have no ideas as to what we're gonna use it for right now. It's it's something that, again, right now, it's just, it's our laundry and linen room. That's likely where it'll be for the long term. If you've got any ideas that we think that we could use this space any better, let us know. And again, this would be probably four or five years in the future before we get around to properly restoring this and looking after it properly. Going through into here, there's not much we can do with this space. This is always going to be for the central heating systems and um, for the electrics to run everything through just to keep it hidden from the, the rest of the shadow. And that's always the way it's been done and it's always kind of been in here. We could use the little area here for a boot, boot room and that, that's likely what that'll be. And I want in here, this is going to be my favourite room when we get round to doing it. In the room round there, we've got, we bought three exactly the same kitchens um, before we left the UK. And this is what I want in here is a, is a big industrial kitchen so that we can cook for guests when they arrive and and just do nice things and yeah it, it'll be a I think it'll be a perfect place for a kitchen it's when we get it all shored up doors replaced windows replaced down here it'll be absolutely superb but let us know what you think we really enjoy two and two is like this and like I say I've seen a couple of things here today that I genuinely didn't know were there that granite funnel in the ceiling i have no idea what that was for we don't think it was a chimney we really don't know let us know what you think where do you think the stairs would have been where 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 makes sense to you that the stairs would have been to have actually left the cellar inside the chateau before like i said before the turret you've got to ignore that because that wasn't there so there has to have been somewhere down here because they wouldn't have went out and in let us know what you think leave your thoughts in the comments and i'll try and get back to as many as i can with them 
I hope you've enjoyed our little tour today. I've really enjoyed it. Like I say, learning new things is always is always fascinating here. If you have, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and please hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss a video in future. And I'm gonna go and enjoy some of this glorious sunshine. If you'd like to be part of our journey and help restore the chateau, then please join us on Patreon where you'll be part of our journey, receive a piece of the history and get exclusive videos.